Just green. All right. We continue after a considerable break. And some changes. Uh, oh no, Ilfren right. is dead. <laughs> no. Ilfren is not dead. <laughs> he went into his last room. Nil, are you talking through a pillowcase? Uh, no, I'm trying out a new mic. I'm still setting it up. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, because... Yeah. It sounds worse than before. Much worse. At the moment. It sounded like you were underwater. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, everything up to this point, I will keep for continuity's sake. But going on from here, things will not go quite as the module said. So, yeah. Uh, what does everyone remember from last session? Uh, we rescued the beast. For correction, we re we rescued the guy who uh was who made the beast via the beast. Okay, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's the he's the beast's monster. We rescued I, the beast. <laughs> I may or may not have been electrocuted a couple of times. Um, let's see. We went to Lepikstad, yes. and then um we had it out with Hog and Grayson's rivals because uh, they wanted the sword. And we told them where to shove the sword. And they didn't take kindly to that for some reason. Um, and we were heading to a forest to go chase after uh, the Whispering Way. Uh, yes, to Shadowwood. To the Shadowwoods, to Askenor Lodge. Because you did hear something about the Whispering Way going there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And on the way you also picked up uh, some mixture between stag and bison, or buffalo, depending on what uh, you compare it to. And... Hmm. Yes, there was also the thing about Judge Daramit telling you of the secret order she belongs to, which is basically just fighting against all manners of evil threatening the people of um, of Ustaraf. Oh, and then the, the purple hamster. Yep, yes, we also got a hamster. Yes, along with the... Hat and something I'll call, else. I'll call it an Aurox. It's not quite that, but it looks like it, kind of, except it has antlers instead of horns. And yes, I believe you did have... Oh yes, Raider also got the amulet from his boss, because yes. the... The elf too, so try to fuck with his mind. And before you start off towards the Shadowwoods, was there anything you wanted to do? Did we actually did we actually decide to give the purple hamster to Grayson's mom? Because I remember Kelmorn wanted to eat it. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, Kelmorn said he wanted to eat no, it. No, no, he didn't want to eat it. He just brought up the fact that these are usually eaten in other regions. Oh, okay. And that I, thing I is a monster. Yeah. Uh, Ilfren is not down for it traveling with us because it's not natural. But, I mean, if Grayson's mother wants it. Uh, uh, great, great, Grayson will be back. His computer uh, apparently, when he tried to exit uh, Camelot, it did not exit. No, no, it's just page will below the web page. Oh, so uh, he is restarting his computer. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, 
But anyway, you, I assume you do take at least one day to rest up before you make your way. Oh yeah. Um, to the to the shadowbots, right down there. It is in the south. Uh, what to do first? Let's say Efren and Kendra, you two are staying with the with the judge. Mm -hmm. I presume. Yeah, probably still. Yeah. Uh anyone else staying there? I mean I know Kalmoron and Sybil wanted to have their private room in some inn. No, Kellen was staying with the uh, uh, crippled kin, I think they were called. Performers. Crooked kin. kin. Yeah. All right. Raider is slowly getting over, for some strange reason, uh, whatever web browser he was using just decided to refuse to load web pages. Yeah. So. Yeah, any... yeah well, Elfren will do. Elfren. Uh, you are approached by uh, Judge Daramit at some point, along with Kendra. And she hands you a uh, necklace, medallion, whatever, uh, with, the, with the same sort of scarab you also had on the book. Also, uh, I forgot to mention that, but you do keep... Do wear that if you wish to find another one of our agents elsewhere, because we do need some sort of recognition after all. And this will do. Right, so it's fine to be worn openly? Well, barely anyone is even aware of the order. As you might remember, even the book, um, Lorimer told you to return to me was to be brought to me in secret. As I said, no one really knows us except those who are introduced to them personally. Very well. But I suppose, yes, if uh, if you do wear it, it would be wise to not draw needless attention to it, simply for our own sake, sake of the organization. Merely if yeah. you do need our help elsewhere and I am not around, it will help our agents identify you. Oh, very well. I will do so. And yes. I take it and I put it away. Uh, more specifically, I put on the amulet, but I tuck it in under, under the shirt. Well, yes. Uh, also, I believe we are going to ha uh, have some interesting times before us. Uh, have you heard of the of the tribes of the Metal Lords gathering in the north? Um, have I? That is no, a good you question. Probably, you probably haven't. Uh, actually, I, sh I should basically, um, the Mammoth Lords are living north of Ustalav. Lepidstad is actually in the northern edges of the region. And the realms of the Mammoth Lords are fairly close to it. There is a little bit of another kingdom in between them and Lepidstad, but it wouldn't be the first time that raids reach into Ostalov. I've so. not heard much about that, no. But then again, I'm also not from here. Right, you do not have much history in this region. Um, mm. Either way, it 
it will be an interesting time and do be aware there might be some forward raiding parties at some point if you stay in the area. Given that you are heading south, I suppose that will be not too much of an issue for you, but if you return, or when you return, just be aware of the threat. Uh, thank you for the forewarning. I think, yes, it probably won't be a problem as we head south, but when we come back north, it could potentially be one. Yes. If you give me a second, uh... Go find the map where this is displayed properly. I've looked at those before, but forgot to save one in a convenient place. That's usually how that works. Like, I have this. Where is it? Somewhere. I find a couple of maps, but none of them shows the wider, the wider area around the region I'm talking about, which is annoying. And let's go wider. The Golarian map should suffice. Yeah, basically there is um, Ustalov, then there's also uh, the World Wound up north, and the Realm of the Mammoth Lords. That is a shitty resolution, I do not want that. Works well enough. I think. No, that doesn't. Sh no. No. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll so, uh, look for one later. But yeah, that's the warning she does give. Um. Does anyone else uh, want to do anything before we leave? Say goodbye to anyone? For example, does Brader actually, uh, does Grayson actually want to give the aberration hamster to his mother? Particularly. And what are we going to do with the hamster? Ain't it? Okay, I immediately give it over to, um, I just tried to call you Ludmilla. Sybil. Kendra? Sybil. No, Sybil. It's been yeah, a few uh, years. Yeah, for some strange reason, I keep <laughs> doing that where I try to call Sybil Ludmilla. I don't know why. It's been years. But gosh darn it, I want Ludmilla the Goose Whisperer back. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I didn't say I would train it. I was just giving an example. Well, if somebody is going to, somebody needs to make that decision because I am not. I have belay. That is more than enough and I don't need to be dragging around another aberration. The phoenix is a monstrosity, please. That's different. So who wants the hamster? Or more specifically, who takes responsibility for the hamster? Volunteers take a step forward. Or ye shall be voluntold. <laughs> Aye, well I'm saying I'm right out of it. No thanks. I was more... <laughs> Referring to the everyone takes a step back 
and the only one who doesn't step take a step back is the volunteer. Hey, Johnny. I think of uh, eating is the right idea, so. I look around one more time. I hand it to Johnny. I guess this goes in my inventory. <laughs> Hamster. Purple monster. Uh, Purple monster hamster. Type one. I'll, I'll have him just, I'll perch him on top of my emergency greatsword. He can just stand on top of the hilt. <laughs> Very well. You have Which the is, hamster. It's above Johnny's head. <laughs> it sits there quite happily. You have a friend. First time in years. Are you going to feed it? I guess I have some rations. Try out, uh, what do hamsters eat? Birds? Fucking anything. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, some scraps of dried fish then. I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh, yeah. It takes to them quite happily. And then probably tries to ruffle through your pack to get more. <laughs> Uh, That's where all the booze when is. Not when it has one. Yes, it will happily drink your booze too. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk hamster. Just don't let it get my uh, my 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 lesser phoenix drunk. Do you want to get it drunk? No. As I said, <laughs> don't let your hamster get my phoenix drunk. Are you saying my purple hamster is a bad influence in the baby phoenix? Maybe, I don't know. I haven't seen it do anything yet. It likes fish. Alright, are we fucking going somewhere? Yes, I suppose eventually you do... Uh, ...get up... ...and leave... Uh. Oh, um, you... oh, one more thing. Can I yes. get a hold of another diamond for yes. lesser interest? Okay. Yes. Sure. We we have more than enough for that, so I wanted to make sure. I also do assume um, Sybil is going to say goodbye to uh, her friend in the in the uh, in the university. Of course. I can't really uh, remember their name, but... Anaria, was it? Ah. Yeah, it's been a while. A good friend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Do you want to RP anything about that, or just skip over it? We can just skip over it. All right. Yeah. You do leave... One, two, whatever, however days after you return. And about half an hour as you leave the gate, you do happen across uh, what appears to be a tipped over wagon with a couple of people standing in front of it and some others sitting by the road by a fire. Uh, uh -huh. Are you going to go over to try and t talk to them, help them, or are you trying to pass, just pass them by? There's quite a bit of a distance between them and you. Should we be friendly sorts? Why is the question Certainly. even need to be asked? We walk past, we say hello, hi, how are you, how's the kids, have you had your tea yet? <laughs> We're not really right. brandishing blades and saying you're money into your life. Alright. Uh, do give me perception checks, everyone. Uh, 
I see. I somehow see, even though it's daylight. Mm -hmm. I don't see. Christ sees. And Chof sees. Um, that was... Ah, Kendra can still t take a roll. Uh, no, Kendra does not see. Uh -huh. Johnny and Grayson, you do see that there seem to be some more people at the edge of the road, up a cliff somewhere. And Ilfren, you do actually recognize one of those from a distance. It is Johnny's questionable acquaintance. Uh, Johnny? Yeah? Your friend's up there. The hamster? No. You're, um, the one that you threw punches with. Oh. You guys want to murder him? <laughs> I mean, if I he look... starts some shit, we can just knock him out. I was about to say, I look incredulous, not murder. I don't see why not. This guy's a dick. Because if we start murdering everyone we don't like, we're probably going to be mass murderers. Mm. Uh, also, and Ilfren, you it's do a lot kind of letters of... to write. Ilfren, you also do notice that the people at the car seem to be mostly unproductive, just standing around, almost as if they're, as if they're waiting for something or someone. They're waiting. This is an ambush. Really? Oh, would your murder sound like a good idea? We don't have to murder them. We probably shouldn't murder them anyway. So, a man how can live about... A, a man can live a long time without his kneecaps. What is elbow joints? Why don't we call over and ask about their friends up on the uh, on the ridge that might spook them a little bit from their ambush plan? Could also just call them out right in the spot. Yeah. I mean, it's not really oh, a very good ambush. We already saw him, so... Oh, yeah, not to mention, I mean, didn't the guards say that um, that one bloke was... Wanted, shouldn't we, uh, we could pursue that angle and ask uh, if he's uh, dealt with his issue with the guards. No, he isn't, he is not wanted, but specifically, uh, just Johnny knows him as someone who does shady shit. Oh, well, I remember it was the, um, no, it was the, 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 the first helping stir up the riots. The guards were looking for him after I skunked him. I wonder if he still smells. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I, I'll have to say, yeah, if I get close enough, I'm going to ask him if he, if, if, if he, uh, about his cologne again. Well, maybe you smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to ask. <laughs> yeah. I'll put you at about that distance. That seems close enough to call over if you want to. I, I look over and I say, can I ask if their friend still has perfume? I mean, that's not very nice. I mean, it's going to likely provoke an attack, but I don't see why not. Yeah, we should be ready. To be fair, I think we're already going to have an attack. This this isn't something that's going to end peacefully, I don't think. Do we all agree? Probably not. Alright. 
I call out and ask, hey, uh, your friend up there, uh, what, what, what cologne does he use again? I, re I remember him from before. It was very striking. Uh, why do you call that? To watch the ghost guys down here? Um, let me see. Yeah. Where, where's the, the bloke? The half, the up, up there, okay. Yeah. I, I yeah, I, I call the, those ones over there. But, but I gesture at the group down the road. Uh, they look up to you. Not really, su kind of surprised about the content of your words, but not that much. Uh, about that you you're being they're being spoken to. And the leader of them seems to be this guy. Does give a bit of a grunt. Well, yes, he does. Also, I think he wants to talk to you. You should go up there. Why doesn't he come to us if he wants to chat? Uh, I mean, you're going that way anyway, right? <laughs> hey, Johnny, what, what's your friend's name? Uh, fuck face. <laughs> uh, Borok Stonebreaker. But you can keep off on fuckface if you wish. I think it's Can't reasonable. <laughs> what will he answer to that won't immediately cause fist flying? Hey, Broko Borok. <laughs> Broke. Yeah, all right. I, I call him down. Oi, Broke, why don't you come on down here for a word? Uh, he looks around, a bit of annoyed, a little bit annoyed, but eventually does start walking down with his friends as well. Keeps some distance. Hey, you! He points at Grayson. Pardon? Yes, you. I think. What's your name again? Does anybody, anybody know these people? Yeah, you, you met him before. I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, you, you, we. I don't think you introduced yourself. He, no, remember, he this is Johnny's rival, so he doesn't know you. Yeah, before. that's a, okay. Yeah, Brendan yeah. Boyk. Um, I'm. Grayson and who might you what? be? Fucking <laughs> <Wow. an> idiot! <laughs> you know, wizard boy. Me. Uh, the wizard boy with the sword. I, I, I guess. I One moment. Why did you say your name with a question mark on the end? <laughs> I didn't say your name at all, frankly. Yeah, I was supposed to say. Why didn't you lie, uh, boy? You need to learn how to Look, lie. Look, I. I Boy, I never learned to lie, okay? I gave you a suggestion of Brendan Hoyt, but also, why, why, why so little confidence? Proclaim it if you're gonna do challenges. He's obviously wanting to take that sword off you. That's right. I was not fucking speaking to you. <laughs> Wait your turn. I don't care. Pack your fucking hole in. Grayson, come on. Right, puff out the chest a bit. Now remember, you are a trained battle dancer. They're, they're all grouped up, right? Hey. Don't make me refresh your perfume. Hmm. Fuck That's off! Terrible. <laughs> I can do it. Don't make me. I'm yes, sure and I can rub your face all happen. over me. Your face I didn't know you were into that sort of thing. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> Look, you can't blame me for that one. <laughs> Just literally. No, I don't. I don't blame me for that one. It's perfectly fine. So you get to smell that shit too. I mean, if I'm a snack, I don't care. care how hot... Do you know any? Have you any idea how hot that shit is to get out? Yes. Yes. He's it's the one to talking. Me. This one here. <laughs> I learned my lesson. You haven't. Yes, this one is it. Okay. <laughs> if you learned your lesson, you turn around and walk away. Ah. 
However, I'm not being paid to punch you. I'm just here to get that sword off that wizard boy. All right, then. I cast Hypnotic Pattern. So that should get, <laughs> so that should get the four of them and need wisdom checks. Or wisdom saves. All right. <laughs> and of course, that'll enter initiative. Yes, it will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All I have in mind is nice he was paid to steal it. All I have in mind. Yep. Let me activate my mouse. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, what he was is I doing in initiative? <laughs> I go tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. Uh, okay, the only so one's mine, one fog is fine. We'll need to know which one that is. Alright. Uh, that was the first one. That will be this one. The top one. Uh, da. Which one? Do Did I trim the spell which? slots? Oh, there we go. Uh, ah, sure, that icon. All of this was Sparky special. Oh, oh. <laughs> or should I call it the Valorous move? Valorously see, sparkleful. It's, see, it's ironic that way. It's the Valorous move, but you're actually sort, sort of cheating. Just a little bit. Effectively, you've given them the weirdest trip of their life. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's a 30 foot cube, so, yeah, Mac easily gets them all. Yeah. All right. Um, Kendra goes. Love? Almost. <laughs> she has horrible, horrible luck with that. No, she actually goes last. <laughs> last and least, probably. No. Fan it's at least. Did I yeah. Level up Kendra properly. But yeah, uh, you do st see Borok and two of the fucks sta starting to stare blankly into sp into the space. Uh, what will you do, Elfrin? I am remembering what flaming sphere does. Okay, yeah, probably not at the moment. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Am I close enough to do this? I, I want to hit the... Oh, sorry. I was trying to get this spell description up done. But... Yep. I am dropping a tidal wave on these guys over here. All right. Do roll me the damage for that. Um, I'd like to point out I'm starting it a little bit further so that when the water spreads out, it doesn't quite reach it. Um, you want me to roll the damage? It's a uh, 19. Uh, ah, that. I just saw this. Why is it showing me mind. my DC is a... My DC is 14. Why? Ah, uh, because uh, that always fucks up. Yeah, it it goofed. It always goofs it. with the spell descriptions. I don't know why. Yeah, I I fixed it for some strange reason. It decided that tidal wave did not get a spell casting modifier for some reason. 
Uh, I fixed it. Uh, what is your actual DC? It is 14. All right. Uh, then everyone except the bandit captain makes it. <laughs> oh, so he's knocked prone. Everybody else is just very, very soggy. And hurt, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they take half damage. Yeah. Which means the bandits are barely alive. <laughs> Uh, come on once. Yeah. Um, line damage and 19 here. All right. Looking a bit soggy over there. That also breaks There's hypnotic most... pattern. There's no. No, that that's on a different group. You should do it on a different group. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should do it on the campfire right. boys. Ah, I see. They are not happy. <laughs> Very soggy, sputtering. Can't really respond as they're spitting water. <laughs> And then with my bonus that action, I'll, I will light my. I'll, I'll just light my. Uh, club. Let's see. Is that fuck smart enough to do anything? Uh, it doesn't matter. Nope, he is not smart enough to try and wake anyone up. He just charges forward. Uh, doesn't quite reach you. Dashes up. And... Oh, that was a dumb decision, mate. Does have been hiding in the bush. Does will. Uh, not quite reach anyone. And kill a monster. What is hypnotic pattern concentration? Yeah. Yeah, concentration one minute, all right. Uh, let's see. Are burn spell slots or not? Eh, other people can get involved. I will just scoot over to give Ilfren a hand here. Why, thank you, good sir. Go 18 and 16. Uh, both hit. That's 6 on 1, 8 for the other. And uh, do I do a... Fl yeah, I'll do a flourish too. Defensive flourish. Oh. Extra 1 damage. Only 1 extra AC. And then... Bonus action with a dagger. Six. Right. That's six. Yes. And it's not looking too too great. And shift. And that's the end of my turn. Ah, uh, Pog. You have just witnessed a guy getting beaten up in front of you. Nil, you there? Did Nil grab coffee? Did I? Let's, okay, so, um... Yeah. You just saw the fuck in front of you, rushing over to you, and promptly getting beaten up from behind. How beat does he look? Uh, 
about two thirds speed. I think my priority would be to complete the beating. Because other people are over there, not right here, where I am. Well, uh, let's then see. you can do the archaeological digging. Compare her skulls against those from 2,000 years ago. Maybe there has been a backwards evolution. Okay, I was just double checking the uh, the various uh, rules there with the, because he's still kind of in melee range, so that bonus melee attack doesn't really matter. But I will uh, use the spell. Say the word. Shalala. Shalala. So I think the 17 would be a hit. Yes, definitely. And you do get advantage since he is flanked, so you can roll again to see if you crit. Just a regular hit then. And he is still standing. Let's see. Jeff, see to this man here. Oh, right. By the way, uh, did you give Jeff another statue or do you? Keep Warrior Chef in the Nymph statue. Uh, clearly, we would have had our choice at the at, uh, at the, the at the uh, university. Yes, that's why so, I was I'm asking. Yes, we would have. Because as amusing as annoyed Jeff is, annoyed Jeff is well annoying. Token. Mm, what's this? Five and six, sixteen. Yes, that is proper chef. Uh, the twelve does hit. And that one is dead. Uh, that was your bonus and action, so I believe that's everything. Yes. All right. The soggy captain will stand up. Uh, he is not happy, but can't do much aside from mm, getting over and into Sybil's face without actually attacking yet. Uh, bandits. Uh, bandits. Cliffs do out of cover here. Mm -hmm. That will be some crossbow bolts. 
actually how far are they away here? Not far enough to roll at disadvantage, I believe, yes. Let's go with those bottom two first. And, uh, let's say Ilfrin. Ilfrin has been doing shit. Both miss widely. I was about to say, I'm, I'm a fair target. I did kind of just drop a wall of water on a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those four up top. Uh, two go for Ilfrin first, and two for uh, Kelmorn. Actually, they could be in range. Well, all of those miss me. Yeah, they are not in range for. Uh, if we get a letter to those miss uh, Kelmorn, the second up top could. Yes, that actually does hit. Um, Ilfrin won for eight. Uh, well, that was quite rude of you. Drowning people is also rude. No, well, you're the ones who started it. I just finish it. Fuck off. I could have set you on fire. Also rude. <laughs> Not as rude as trying to steal from people. Right, lovely. You can kiss and make up later. Can we get all of this? <laughs> Sybil, uh, can you melt a face or something? Not actually hit your oxen. That one. Also doesn't hit anything. Wow, those rows are shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny. I know what I have to do. Say than the other guy. Right, Johnny, these need less teeth. Less teeth? Less Where teeth. should I put the extras? On the ground? Doesn't matter. Just get the original ones out. Keep a collection in your pocket. Rip a fucking hole in them. I got this. I'll go uh, first attack on the lower one. Yeah. Hold on. Pretty sure 20 hits. Uh, yes, 21 hit, uh, 20 hits. Uh, one is down. I assume dead. Oh, yeah. All oh, the aiming for the teeth individually. I mean, how many, how, how many of these guys have? Lots of teeth? Missing teeth? Uh, Missing teeth. It was a trick question. I'm hitting the other one have, now. Yeah. None of them have all of their teeth to begin with. And yeah, that one's gone too. Hell yeah, uh, I'll start moving, uh, sort of this to 5, 10, there we go. And I'll move around this guy. Stepping on its corpse of his friend. Still removing more teeth as we go. And I guess I, could, I have a bonus action, so I'll go for a, actually I'll move here, I'll go for a, a, a punch on this guy. And, pop. Oh. Oh, I do have advantage. Let me check. No. Okay. Uh, that is minus six for him. And I believe that was it. Yep, that's everything. Ah, simple. All right. Uh, I was going to drop a web, but bunch of people already dead so yeah might as well just uh punch the captain uh are we doing advantage flanking or plus two flanking uh, advantage flanking 
Okay. Unless you are being flanked. Yeah. One. Two. Yes, both hit. <laughs> He's hard. And let's see, I activate my defensive field as a bonus action, gaining temporary hit points up to levels of my class, so six, and that's my turn. Look at that, he's been soft enough for you, Grayson. Go get him. <laughs> they want your sword. Clearly, you should give it to them. Oh, I'll give it to them, all right. Here you go, it's nicely wrapped. Sorry, it had to go this way. I don't the think purple he's very on it. Yeah. I can't draw a line anymore by pressing Q. That's stupid. I can make it, though. <laughs> With my extra 10 feet, I can make it. Make sure you hit the one that isn't Hypnotic Pattern. Aww, but he's the one that started it. We'll let Johnny handle him when he... Yeah, he's him. mine. Fine. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll hit him. Look, we'll push him on the ground later and just beat the living shit out of him when we're done with the rest. Uh, so which one are you attacking? Attacking the one below me then, because oh, Johnny right. wanted this one. So I'm going to hit this one. Sure thing. And then this one's going to get the rest. So yeah, uh, all right. he takes he takes nine. Is that how that works? Uh, this This one takes nine, yes. And that's my turn, because I'm fast. Mm, you've made just one attack? Oh, right, I have a second attack now, don't I? Yes. Yes, you do. I'm not used to that. In but I, moment, I can only use a cantrip once per turn, twice. right? <laughs> yes, it's just that you can replace one of them with a cantrip. Well, second one probably misses. It does hit. Oh, that's a hit? Okay. Yes, they are easy targets. All right, so six more on that guy. I'm very familiar with these thugs. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about my second attack. Yeah, we leveled up last time we left off, didn't we? Uh, session before that, I think. Yeah. That, that well, shall that be my time. turn. Uh, okay. Kendra. Uh... Uh, what will Kendra do? She this does not seem too pleased with. Uh, uh, the way things go. Or rather, that there is a conflict at all, but she will go up to Ilfren and. Pat you on the shoulder. Please go and deal with that situation quickly. Oh, I will. As you're being hasted. Yep. That's going to be important because... <laughs> uh, I'll give you this nail for it. All right, so, um, hmm, no way for me to get advantage. Bugger. Wait. Yeah, because uh, they are all done up. Bugger. Hmm. Hmm. Loop, I'm going to have to help him out. And where is my bonking? 
my flaming bog. Uh oh. What were the stats for my flaming bonk? Uh, oh, wait, I found it. I, I, I put it under something different. Yeah, it's at a mace or a club. Oops. Good thing I have two attacks. Yeah, I forgot, forgot an R there. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is 13, 12 damage. And then and my... It was, a, it was the bonus to ignite the club, the Ember Sprout. Oh, it was? I thought I... Because I did that earlier. Oh, did you? Did the... Yeah. All right. I yeah, dropped the get... Tidal Wave and then I'd done that. Sure thing. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I use my... <laughs> All right, Pierre. All right. That um, kills the fuck. I know it doesn't. It don't hit. Wait. I have Daylight. disadvantage. All right. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah. If only you had like sunglasses or something. Well, unfortunately, yeah. The only one I could get advantage on was the one that I don't want to wake up because he has hypnotic pattern. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't really move like. I mean, yeah. I guess I could have stood where you're standing instead, maybe, but eh. yeah, But at this range, both of you smell that Borok is still very much affected by skunk. <laughs> oh, you still smell quite fragrant. Too bad he can't hear me because he's high as a kite. I, I hold that no, comments until after. No, it's not like it drugs him. It's just flashes. It basically just gives a rain a seizure right now. We're in a frothing mess. Yeah. I've been told it's not permanent, but I know some people lose their sense of taste and an inability to balance upright. No, no, it's just uh, he he's a temper. He's having a very bad trip. Yeah, he's <laughs> drooling all over the place. <laughs> well, that'd be my turn. Uh, Borog continues to drool and stare into empty space. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, I now uh, have a 20 to AC. <laughs> uh, does any one of those actually figure out uh, that one will wake up its body <laughs> but he is not getting anywhere near the angry drow and wizard boy at the moment <laughs> uh, uh -huh. ah they are finally cl those are finally close enough to hit someone. <laughs> uh, two of those try for Grayson, the other two for Ilfrin. And they do get advantage. So Grayson, you have a 23 and a 21 coming your way. I think those both hit, if I remember correctly. So it's... Are you shielding or dancing? Um... I can shield one. Or, I know if I shield, it gets rid of both of them, right? Yeah, because it's... Yeah. yeah, I'll shield that. All right. That seems like a good use of a spell slot. Indeed. I keep, I keep forgetting that shield just stays up. You also have to remember yeah. to dance. <laughs> well, no, that's why I was trying to calculate my AC, because I'm dancing, and I have mage armor. And... Yeah. Uh, uh, Ilfra doesn't actually get hit because haste. Yep. Yep, the only one that would have hit would be the eighteen, and yeah, the plus two. I have a twenty right so, now. <laughs> yeah, now I remember. I have a, I have a, a, t a twenty-one AC right now. Yeah. So they would all hit, though, except yeah. everyone has pretty high ACs except uh, Johnny and Bog. 
Those have the lowest ACs. Well, Kendra. A fighter with the lowest AC. What does the world come to? <laughs> and the other folks are dead or hypnotized, so that's it, yeah. Alright, I pop a bit closer towards the cliff boys. Uh, one step so back. Do. Which gets me within range of another spell. So I'll cast on the two in the middle, Shatter. And kill minus all the hits. Oh yes. They are sprayed all over the cliffside. Take that as a casual <clears throat> warning to get the fuck out. <laughs> Their friends seem inclined to do exactly that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just walk calmly back to the box to just give it a scratch behind the ears. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll chuck out an inspiration though to to Grayson. Or no, to Johnny actually. He needs it right now. I kind of imagine imagining Caramon just walking up with the trumpets, trumpeting once they explode, and that's it. <laughs> That was, and that was so cool, now I feel inspired. Nah, I much, could probably not do that with my hands. It's a bit more sinister than that. He just walks together, patting his hands, until he just does one big clap, and two fucking men explode. <laughs> uh, that sounds intimidating enough. Ah, that's my turn. You're inspired, Johnny. You've got a D8. I gotta punch this guy so fucking hard! Pog. Pog indeed. Uh... So this pointy dude to the south. What's going yes. on with him? Ah, uh, he's just hurt. That's the red dot. I was trying to yes. tell what the icon was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, the icon is just um, roughly half health or lower. Well, no, no. I mean, his uh, his token. I was just like, what is that? Is it a helmet? Is he there's, a, there's a, a helmet, tiny yes. little head with arms upstretched in <laughs> anger? I don't know. No, it is a helmet. With horns. <laughs> But now that you mention it, I can see the tiny guy with hands upright, uh, stretched up. With two big pauldrons and a two tiny head. Well, I will go for the two for here, if I need to. Uh... Well, Couldn't hear a word for the pillow. The pillow <laughs> or the pillow. I think you need yeah, to find a spot. Fine, but I had to bump your sound way up. I think you need to find a spot where it might actually picks you up from. See, it, it's supposed to be... I think it's Discord being fucky with it, so I'll have to mess around. Um, it, it works for me if I just bump you up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, let's see. That missed, I imagine. Still sounds like he's from an area where the mic isn't picking it up, like he's behind it. Yes. That does miss. Right. Let's take my second shot because I got two. I'm stupid. I imagine that one doesn't. That does hit, yes. Uh, uh, All these really great rolls. Does. No, this time it remembered your charisma mod. Yeah, but it looks like it doesn't, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I've also had that experience in Celeste a couple times, where the first attack, if you have a sorcerer that adds the charisma mod, gets that added, but the second one not. So it's fun if the attack with the plus five deals less damage than the one without. Uh, 
And do you still have a bonus? My bonus, I'll charge forward and stab him. That gets a parry, so you miss. Otherwise, it would have hit. Uh, uh. Ah, and he gets to do ha to have a revenge. I'll try to hit Sybil, who has dealt far more damage to him. Uh, thankfully, he doesn't have to decide. So, uh, Sybil and Johnny get a scimitar, and uh, Pog gets a dagger. Okay, uh, Sybil is a 19. Johnny is a crit. Does all of, do all of them hit? Yep. I think so. Right. Uh, that's 5 to Sybil. 12 to Johnny. And 6 to Pog. As he's just killing about us. trying to hit everything, anyone, and looks slightly panicked. <laughs> All right, the regular bandits. Fuck off. They have seen enough to know that twice as many people as you all was not enough. <laughs> Uh, I'll just take them off the initiative. Unless you do want to chase them. No. No point. Yeah, Johnny. Uh, I'm going to non lethally punch this guy in the back of the head. Uh, okay. Bop. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, this is with advantage. That does not yet drop him. I'll do it again! But this will, yeah. I figure we can get this guy to testify against those elf fucks. Yes. Do you think he's a snitch? Well, he's gonna be dead if he's not, so... <laughs> And let's see, I will. I. I'll let Johnny get a bonus action hit on this guy right at, right in front of him. Bop. Mm. Damn. Okay. I don't like you, Johnny. Nah, God. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Okay, we're good. Never mind. It does not actually. I thought you would deal more damage then. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I hit duty fucking six. <laughs> Uh, I don't like you, Johnny. On the bright side, you didn't malgurn it. Why don't you like Johnny? Because now I can't get advantage and I need oh, it. I, I, can, I can just move him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you don't have to say you're not my. You don't fucking like me. You're not my friend. Just because I sat in the wrong place. God damn. I mean, he also doesn't like you because you're, you're a dwarf. But you know. <laughs> you, could have, you could have also just gone over here, I believe. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let Johnny cook right there. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, Sybil. Hey, he's out cold? Yeah. Uh, no, this one is not out cold. Oh, yes, the bandit captain. That one is out cold. All right. Excuse me, Mr. Arak. 
Right. Start with this one. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. More crits. Yeah. This, one. <laughs> this time he's gone. <laughs> uh, my three looks a lot worse now, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, three damage with a crit is painful. All right, moving there, and that's my turn. Uh, all right. I it. So he doesn't get an attack of opportunity if I move out of his range because he's stunned, right? Or this one does not, no. Yeah, yeah they have no reaction at all. Oh, oh right. Okay, I can't move away because that one, so. Uh, I guess we'll just fight this one then because there's really no. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could fireball those up there if you're feeling like it. Do you actually have fireball? I do. So you're not a disappointment. <laughs> not entirely, at least. Yeah, that that sounds like fun. Let me get my. That seems like a good fireball right there. You getting all three? I can get all I can get all three. So it's it's But yeah, the three guys off in the distance there. Uh, okay. I didn't expect you to actually do it. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for an excuse to use fireball. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, fireball. <laughs> Only one makes it. Ah, one made it, balls. Uh, Was the one who made it in, in cap, though? In... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. So I don't think that actually affects saving throws for some reason. That, that would be way. weird. <laughs> well, Incapacitate. Uh, yes, is you don't. Well, or is it that you auto fail? I can't remember. I, be, I believe incapacitated just says you can't take actions, reactions, or bonus actions. Yeah, I can't remember. You should wear the idea of him being dexterous all of a sudden out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's just dancing to the pretty Player colors and he just sees it out of the way. It's just the right Player exactly. creature incapacitated. <laughs> Nothing about incapacitated makes one unable to make saving throws. Being unconscious will make you auto fail. I guess maybe it's like he, he initially takes damage from the oh, fire. He, he saves. <laughs> yeah, he's not unconscious, therefore he can save. That's really weird. Yeah. It doesn't matter take, because I'll of take, that. I'll take two out of three. That's fine. Yeah, he doesn't even get. Any He's so in capped, he just. Yeah, it, do it doesn't matter either yeah. way. I just think it's a funny <laughs> ruling, is all. I. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He dances to the flame. And takes. I, I I feel like he's become an idiot savant. He's dodging it, but not because he's trying. <laughs> Those two are crispy. Hey. And this one is no longer hypnotized. You still want the sword? As I give the side eye. <laughs> Isn't he still hypnotic pattern? Nah, the that doesn't mean I can't be snarky. Uh, Let uh, me have this. Half <laughs> yeah, the half orc. 
That doesn't mean I can't be snarky towards him. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know if he can see, hear you. Well, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but the guy in between us heard it. And that's what matters. <laughs> Tell your boss he can have the sword. <laughs> I guess. Uh, well, it's kind of really that was the day that Grayson started exhibiting, exhibiting sociopathic <laughs> tendencies. Oh no, I have an important question that will up my sociopathic tendencies. It happens the moment a wizard gets fireball. It's well documented. I was gonna say that this, like it's the, the descent into madness begins. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, I have the spell that I think trumps fireball in absolute. I mean, you already did try to burn down enough. my hometown, so you know. Hey, I didn't. You mean call straight. lightning? <laughs> no. I, I have what? something. I, I'll I'll have to ask. What spell is better than fireball? Well, let, let Kendra go, and then I'm like going to ask. Because my question is, it isn't better. Hmm. It's that it, um... So, that guy that's standing next to Grayson, what is he wearing? Ah, that one. Heat metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, war crimes. <laughs> okay. Uh, he is wearing leather armor. Oh, crap. Are you but sure? You want to you wanna, you wanna check again? Yeah, his we his weapon would be made of metal, <laughs> but I mean, I wanted to tin can him. Yeah, like um, doing it on the weapon, he can drop that. Yeah. It's no fun. Yeah. Does he have a shield? Uh, no. They just have a mace. Ooh, good, yeah, good, they're, they're good call bullets, though. Yeah. yeah, with the shield, because you do have to doff that still. Nice. Yeah. And it does classify. I think it's which I think is complete bullcrap because I can get a strap shield off really quick. It is bullcrap, but you know. You can strap yeah, but... on and off real quick, huh? Yes, yes, I can. I have experience with such things. Thirty foot. There we go. I know the uh... spell. Because despite Vikings using punch shields historically, I'll be damned if I'm going to use one in actual combat. I mean, a better spell than Fireball is Circle of Death. That's a horrifically potent spell. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure, you can aim it in a way that doesn't hit anyone else but those two. Uh, does... 16 points. Yeah, it does make sense to roll saves here. Oh, dexterous thug. One of them, at least. Yeah. Is it the one that was already smacked by a fireball? He's just like, no, you know no, no, no fireball. I already set on fire once. <laughs> Let, yeah, let's yes. go with that. That's because it's funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, he's the just last like, nope, time, nope, 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 The nope. last time there was fire, I danced to it, <laughs> and it still hurts me. This still hurts me too, but I want to get away now. <laughs> <laughs> well, my secondary action gets, my second action gets to go bonk. Do I still get my bonus action attack? Because uh, the... I'm hasted, so that's my ah, question yes, on that. Right. Uh, yes, you do. Doesn't matter, don't hit. <laughs> yeah, he's dead with the first hit anyway. Oh, well, it doesn't uh, matter then, okay. Yeah. And he dies from the fire damage, actually. <laughs> he's very well done. In that case... Uh... Oh, did you want to do anything else with the bonus action? No. Uh, oh, I, actually, yeah, I would have tried to hit this guy, but I just moved over to him. Hello! Alright. Then... He gets a poke. Oh, he gets a poke? Oh, he held That's an right. action? Oh, no, no, no! Right, uh, it is. You have disadvantage, I forgot that. Yeah. 
Okay, he does not get a pumpkin. Yeah, he could choose some shades. Ah, no, this... he is going to fucking disengage and run. <laughs> he does not want that. And there Bye. it is. You can see his pants still smoldering and smoking. He's leaving a... Don't worry, he probably pissed himself smoke. and put it out, right? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. He hasn't thought of that yet. <clears throat> Might want to clean up your act, otherwise we'll have to do this again more permanently. He is not listening. Hey, he is she... just screaming in pain as everything burns. Hey, she's good on in. I remember that Ilfren had a wee detect magic vision on him. To see that his belt was a bit weird, so let's get that off him before he becomes conscious. <laughs> <laughs> and you start stripping him. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it has done the very simple method. It is a reach around. A flick of a finger and the belt drops. Ask Sybil how the technique was developed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will fit his pads fall. Congratulations. Oh well, that's his problem, not mine. As I scoot <laughs> the belt away with my foot. That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Backs off. <laughs> it's up to Johnny. I'm just making it a bit more fair. Yeah, that's my turn. Because there's no one else who really needs it right now. Alright. Hey, who else ran away? Oh, I suppose, yeah, he's trying to run. Can always get in the back. Yeah, he could still be in range, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just put down the weapons for a bit, and let's see if I finally got the sights on this thing working. Why? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep forgetting now, but you can click the damage just by itself. No, that's still a Sorry. miss, I believe. Uh, is it a disadvantage? No, it's just no, a straight it roll. Would it would be a hit. No, oh, 12, okay. Yeah, yeah 12's oh. a hit. Yes, I'm piercing Ben to foot him in the hip back. Uh, that's 9 damage. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is a donk. <laughs> I mean, does this guy, has he earned his right to live at this point? He's screen near death experiences. I'm still not happy with how this... I still feel like his thing fucking pulls to the right. Yes, he's missing an ear now. And screams some more. Pog. So he's still running away. Uh... Yes. And, and I've gone invisible the previous turn. After getting stabbed. Yes. So. I'm going to disengage. Oh, uh, no, this one, this is, this one is unconscious. You don't okay. need to You wouldn't have to disengage anyway, because you can't get attacks over channel as you can see them. <laughs> no, let's, Sybil, let's see we want to make it somewhat fair, as funny as that would be. <laughs> At this point, it's just sport. <laughs> I have some honor left. Ooh! <laughs> Pog might not, though. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I think he was dead at the first one. And, but... Yes, and you're blasting the corpse. <laughs> Can I also push it uh, 20 feet? <laughs> <laughs> just face right. it. all that thing. Yeah. That guy did not have a good day. I don't know what Pog's alignment is, but it's definitely not good. Chaotic <laughs> hilarity. I, I think that goes for most of us at this point. Yeah, to summarize this guy's experience, he walked up with his boss, got uh, one hell of a trip, danced to the fire, got burned twice, then stabbed, then shot, and eventually splattered all over the ground. <laughs> I had a bad day. <laughs> Next time you have a bad day, just remember this. It could always be worse. <laughs> it could always be that guy. <laughs> so, any bonus? Any bonus action, Bob? Thinking. 
Mm -hmm. Look at his token. He's always thinking. Mm -hmm. We'll say he's just doing anything. Uh, I guess Nil went away again. Oh, oh, yeah, I, th I, I thought my turn might have been over, but is there anyone yeah. still to see to here other than the unconscious guy? Oh, well, there's... there's still... Oh, uh, okay. Hawk, ...who started all of that shit. He's currently drooling and staring into the air. Into the air. Yeah. But that's mm. not a pog problem. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, everyone active has been taken care of. <laughs> I'm now feeling the uh, stab wound and being very vocal about how injured I am. <laughs> but I hurt. Are you the Pufflesworth? Of I think the Pufflesworth of this party. <laughs> but I hurt. Jeff, yeah, more please. <laughs> oh, this is Warrior Jeff. Yeah. Yes. Ilfrin, I need your attention. You have it. Yeah, uh, I guess that's it then. Johnny! Alright, everybody, get ready for the fun part. <laughs> Johnny will put a shoulder on Johnny. Uh, Johnny will put a hand on Johnny's shoulder and he'll point out where to punch him. Okay, everybody. Right in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> in the perfect, perfect. It's like, it's like one of those little punching bags. You don't even have to guess where it is. <laughs> you can see it. Johnny will hold a... a, 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 a actually, I... Should I punch him now? Let's go. go ahead. I was gonna wait. You might as well yeah. enjoy it. I can... I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking shit up. Okay. Uh, I can get... So first of all, first, two punches. Bop. Bop. Then I'm going to... Ghost punch for another one. Oh, that's not gonna. <laughs> the first one hits. Okay. Then I will action surge and punch him two more times. Then. Doesn't will... he have Ghost... advantage from Sybil? Oh, yeah, yeah, he would. Have... He would. Uh, wouldn't you be flanking? Yeah. Uh, right. So that's yes. three attack. It's three. If I do one more, that's three attacks. So. Uh, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-one. Uh, yes, those all hit. <laughs> and then, yeah, turn on advantage. This guy is gonna have punch. a bad day. And then now the action surge, which is two <laughs> more. Plus one more ghost punch for good measure, and then a bonus action punch. Oh, wait, should I, uh, yeah. where was... I ah, right, the third punch was because of the echo shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, all except the last one hit. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> this guy wakes up from the hypnotic pattern and has a real bad day. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, that's 19, 30, uh, 49. Nice. This guy sucks. And then I, uh, <laughs> I I'll pat Johnny on the back and say, "Good job, Johnny," and uh, move in so he can yeah. provide advantage. Yeah, and he's in the red. <laughs> you hear that, you little fuck? Oh. You hear my fists? They're screaming fists. He is not quite responding yet. He is kind of slowly falling to his knees. We'll do this non lethal Holding his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, yes, both hit. All right, this is non-lethal. Uh, does not matter quite yet. Yep, so that's my turn. Grayson. So Grayson, will you join the non-lethal yeah. pile driver? Yeah, I got a, I got a plan. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's a hit. Mm 
the non-lethal taser. <laughs> I mean, if any spoke in non-lethal, that's the one. Not even going to use the sword. sword. Just going to go up, just tase him. <laughs> and nothing else? Nope. Not even a second attack? I mean, I guess I could do a second attack non-lethally. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do remember, you get two attacks and you can just replace one with a cantrip, so... Yeah, it the cantrip yes, I mean, I could, yeah, I could swing the sword, I suppose. He did want the sword. So... <laughs> yes, you know I what? I'll let him have it. I will let him have the is sword the where non is have it. my button gets shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, shock. Wait. Ah, right. That. It's just just the one, extra. not not the two. Three ones in a row. Look at me go, man. Hey, at least I wasted them on something. There's 20 sides on that die, kids. Yeah. I just haven't paid the premium membership. No, those are just D8s. Half. There's less sides. Uh, D6 as well. Oh, right. right. This is damage, yeah. So your luck is just shit. Not terrible. Uh, I don't think Kendra will participate in <laughs> the pile. <laughs> yeah, in kicking the half orc while he's on the floor. Come on, Kendra, we saved you an ear. He's already <laughs> <laughs> he's already seeing stars, but different kinds than from the hypnotic pattern now. We're not the baddies. <laughs> yeah, Ilfren. All right. How bad does he look? Um, about five light breezes away from death. <laughs> Do it. I'm going Pull to non damage. I'm going to non-lethally bonk him. I uh, prob seven misses. You yeah. somehow miss. Yeah, I somehow miss. <laughs> Um, well, I get another go at this. I just, I, I just like to think she goes and she swings at him, but the, he kind of slumps yeah. over from being all, like, effed up, and she just goes <laughs> over his head. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He I non-lethally bonk him. He is dumb. What a little shit that guy was. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So now oh. we have two prisoners, everybody. That's a good fight. It's amazing uh, that they keep fighting when they see what happens to their friends. He gets one more. <laughs> <laughs> I go He's to check on the animal. Pros. I don't know, something like that there. <laughs> yeah, no. The people's elbow. <laughs> No, it's a tree top elbow. Yeah. Wood elf. Yeah. The yeah, elves are people. Animal just watches. Blinks. It's a mouthful of grass it picked up while waiting for you all to finish up. Now, I think I know what I'm going to name that hamster. What are you going to name him? Johnny. <laughs> Because okay. you know, because I you was gonna guess that. Right, because <laughs> you just said that, I want you to know this dibs as I hold up the belt and point at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's entirely because you said that. <laughs> now you're gonna try to beat me up next. He probably could. I probably oh, could. <laughs> no magic. Those are the rules. Yeah, but Kendra... So Kinder that. Charm is still on the table. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to use that, sure. find a way to use that. You win automatically. We, we did. We found the one time to use it in Curse of Strahd. <laughs> so, uh, what are you planning to do with those two? I, d I hope you do not plan on dragging them with us, particularly with how this one smells. No, I don't think we're going to take them with us permanently. We just need to identify... We're going to take their belongings, though. 
I don't know. Can oh, shit. I mean, do you want to take them? We can press to digitate the smell, maybe. I don't know. No, we don't want to take them because then we have to babysit them. Well, uh, we should, I think we should just, just take them back fair. to town and turn them in. That's fair. Yeah. That way, hopefully, they'll uh, narc on the elves and they go to prison too. Yeah, that'd be fair. It's a long walk. Can I, can I press to digitate the smell? I do. I make it worse. To... I I, I'm trying to get rid of it, and he's over here making it worse. I ripen it. wondering why it's not going away. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I could fully make it worse. See, Grayson can think of soap and other clean things and perfume. He doesn't have the worldly experience that Kelmore does on how to make things worse. Like the, Roman, suppose... like the Roman barbarians, they made their soap out of bear fat. <laughs> So they smell different. <laughs> Just he's been in a in a world of places sometimes drunk, and you find an unusual assortment of odors there. You learn what works and doesn't work together. I suppose Ilfren could be extra mean. Go skunk again and spray it right up his nostrils. Oh, that ah, would be no, 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 no. See, ah. here is what Ilfren suggests: we need to interrogate them. Figure out how much they were paid, um, and where they were going to meet up with our friends to give them the goods. And then after they are tied up and we're getting ready to go, that's when I will skunk the both of them. Then the guards are going to be mad at us. Well, no, because remember we're not turning- are, are we- I thought we decided we weren't turning them in. Well, I want to get those elves arrested. Yeah, if we're turning them in, then I won't, because, yeah, then the guards will have to deal with it. Yeah, you are about three hours outside town, so you'd have to go back another three hours, deal with the guards. Uh, yeah, it would be most of the day gone. Do we we're want to go back rush, into are the are we? Yeah, let's let's interrogate not. them first ourselves. Yeah. All right, let's wake them up. After we tie them up, yeah. we're tying them up. Gear. Assume yeah. you need to get a back to back or just separately. Yeah, that works. Yeah. I'll move the other one here just so uh, it's more clear. And haste will expire at some point. Yeah. Go for tie those knots really down. fast, though. <laughs> I'm very dexterous. Yeah, for one minute. One minute haste is not particularly long. Hmm. Alright, wakey wakey! Hands off, Snakey. Eggs and bakey? No, we're not giving them any eggs, and we're certainly not giving them any bacon. They don't deserve it. Fuck. What happens? You got your ass beat. This happened. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, wait, oh yeah. Hold on. He gave you a seizure. Then uh, Johnny punched you in the dick a couple of times. Five uh, times. Gra five. There you go. Then uh, Grayson stabbed you. Once. And after he uh, after he electrocuted you as well. And then I bonked you over the head. Uh, I can feel all of that. Yeah. <laughs> What Loser. the fuck happened to my boys? They're dead. Yeah, if you look around. over there to your right, you can see there's actually like a kind of a splatter yeah. along the ground. That was Pog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks around. Makes a bit of a face that indicates he is clearly not happy. Ah. That's... I did not expect that. Well, Who the dummy fuck are you people? <laughs> you you, you kind of know that already, bud. Or did we knock that out oh. of you? I mean, I know who you are, but... You just right. fucking killed... What? 14? People? Well, to be fair, two of them ran away screaming when Kelmorn over there decided to explode their friends. You Those were the smart ones. People? <laughs> Casually, in fact. I set them on fire. Here's the thing. You came brandishing blades, maces, arrows. 
none of those are really child's play toys or anything like that there. It's a case of, you were gonna try and murk us anyway, so fuck you and your little cry of outrage and, oh, it's so unfair and this isn't right and all. You're a fucking thief and you got what was coming to you. Ah, fuck you too. And you can take that but... from the city's greatest defense lawyer. <laughs> Will you oh, work with a law firm, Johnny and Johnny? Why would you ever make partner uh, there? <laughs> I didn't, he did. Look, I was just told to get that sword off. Ooh, where was it? That's that wizard boy. With a pack of fogs, all brandishing weapons, eager to spill blood. You left hey, out the you, important bit there. Had... Well, if you'd given us the swords, there would have been no need for them. Of course, it's perfectly reasonable for us to give it to the thieves. Shut the fuck up, you moron. <laughs> hey, it's not me who wants it. No, but you took the job. You said yes, I'll hire a gang of thugs to take this. So, uh, reap what you sow. Nice ah, belt, by the way. Fine. Yes? Give it back, please. You're no, fucking no, joking! No, so stupid! This guy's <laughs> been a fucking moron! <laughs> Johnny, I want you to point a laugh at him, please. <laughs> really? You, you, you try to beat us up, steal our friend's things, and you want us to give you that back? We were thinking about not killing you, I mean, you should really be arguing for that. Well, if you want to be dumb, you got to be tough. He just took it a bit wow. far. Well, what the fuck are you waiting for, for then, if you want to kill me? No, well, that's the oh. point. And there's one other thing I want you to do first. What would that be? Rat on your boss. Hi. I don't really know who it, who hired me. I just know it was some sort of elf in a bar. Don't know who he's saying, who he is. Well, luckily for you, we can tell you exactly who he is. <laughs> well, uh, correction. Sure? We we know what it was one of two. How much did he offer you, by the way? Uh. 500 gold? Dude, that sword's worth like 10 Gs. What the hell, man? You got robbed. I didn't expect to get that sort of resistance from you all. It was supposed to be an easy job. Well, um, clearly it's not. Not to mention, who would pay someone 500 gold for an easy job? You really are dumb, aren't you? Easy, comparatively. If we give I you mean, back your belt, will you just go away and not bother us ever again? Uh, Sybil, sweet, you love my life. He's not getting this fucking belt back. Yeah, he's not gonna <laughs> leave us alone either. If he's not gonna ride on his I will mention he also had uh, magic gloves. Oh, we can take those oh. now, then. Yeah, let's take those off him. Alright, out comes the sword. It's just easier to get the hand out afterwards, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, nothing like that. Yeah, I was going to ask, are you actually chopping off No, of course not. That would keep us off our backs. That's only something that Ilfren That would also be a bit too far. That's only something Ilfren and Johnny would do. No, Ilfren would not unless there was a very good reason. I don't have a sword. Oh, I do have a sword, actually. It's for emergencies only, though. <laughs> Ilfren would only remove somebody's hand in a, in a very good situation. It's only for emergencies that Johnny brings out his pen knife. <laughs> This'll do. I mean, uh, I'll assume you just uh, took the gloves off before you woke him up. Yeah, probably. Yeah. As we were tying him. He's been yeah. degloved. Oh, God. Even I wouldn't go that far. It would be the greatest spell, though, the most horrific one for roleplay purposes. You cast it on them, they mm -hmm. fail a con save, and now their entire skin surface has been degloved 
in one solid <laughs> piece. But they're still in there somewhere. No, it's just a case of it's just been detached. All the skin has been detached, and so every twist and turn, it's going in different directions across your nerves. I don't like that. Uh. <laughs> Goes alongside the enemy that rebowls you. Ugh. That is even more horrifying than the disarm spell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, where were we? You took the gloves off and belt. He's now not wearing all that much. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with him? It was, what did you want to know from him? What else? Right. Do you promise to stop this idiocy and to uh, not try to take our friend's things? Ah, uh, right. I'm not that stupid to try and fuck with you again. Are you sure? We're not letting this guy go, are we? Well, well it's up to you, Johnny. Well, not on my own, at least. I can, I can be that honest. But not on purpose. I'm not going to go after you for that. You're not going to do any more dumb impromptu fights with me? Uh... Okay, that's them getting the sword out. He did punch you in the dick five times, good sir. I think he's won. <laughs> now I'm going to have your stupid magic shit, so no chance you'll win. He doesn't say anything, just stares at you and snarls. He doesn't sound very apologetic, guys. What about you, Bandit Man? The other guy? Look, I don't know nothing. Just got hired. By that guy. Also, uh, here you go, Johnny. Oh, thanks. Ah, much better. Now I can really wall up this fuck. Yeah, I ain't going after you. You yeah, killed my boys. Man. Not gonna try hurting you again. Promise. That's smart of you. Let's let the bandit go, I That's... think. We'll probably let him go now. He's probably just gonna keep banditing. Yeah, but not banditing us, so not really a huge deal. Johnny? Oh, the bandit's gonna band it. They're everywhere. No, no, you didn't let him finish. He was about to say, Johnny, you're correct. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, <laughs> no. Let me put it this way. I can promise you, if you do attack us again, I will remember you. And I'll make it my personal mission to burn you alive. We'll resurrect you and do it again. I could. Anyway, fucking broke Bach. What was your name again? All right, that was. I was muted again. But yes. Uh, please don't drown me or burn me again. I'll be good. I'll stop bandit. Bandit. There's a good guy. So, are we going to just leave them tied up on the side of the road? The bandit guy, for sure. But the. Uh... This orc doesn't really. What's your? By the way, orc man, orc bog. What's your name again? Borok. Oh, okay. Uh, are you gonna make any sort of case for why we shouldn't kill you, or no? Hmm. Can I make one? Oh yeah, yeah. Now's the time. I mean, what's the point? You're going to. I mean. Why would you want to kill me? Why would I not? I mean, you attacked me, you've dude. Al you've already stole everything from me. Punched stole? me in the dick. Yeah, I'm not going to fucking hunt you. 
Yeah, I, I don't accept actually, that. I think Kielmar is right. Kneecaps. What do you guys think? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's fair. Everybody wins. Just no. one of them. Just one, because if you do both, you might accidentally cripple him for life. I just said let him go. I, I vote nope. we tie them naked to the tree, and then we leave. No, they, they, they sort it out. That's just ridiculous. No, it's not a stag do. I mean, if you want, you can roll inside checks to see what he might be doing. If released, I know this guy. Fourteen. Uh, Sixteen, but twice. <laughs> Sixteen. Third time in a row. <laughs> I guess we win a prize. Jackpot. For that, you have to roll 60 and 16 times in a row. <laughs> Game is then you win 16 internet points. Uh, yeah. With the 16, you can figure out that he is not, not eager to start off another fight, given that he has seen how uh how he got plastered through the wall, basically. Oh, not another 16. He is... He's definitely going to hold a grudge for taking away his stuff, and... Uh... The barrage of punches he received from Johnny. But he's also not uh, stupid enough to... try and actually f uh, look for another fight with him or you all he's an opportunistic enemy now not a uh yeah not an active yeah. like if he got a chance to get one of you alone and punch the shit out of it out of them yeah he would do it but he's not going to take a specific job against you like this All right, I vote. Yes, we let them go. His ego's bruised enough. Mm -hmm. I want to break his leg. So. Johnny, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. I'm a pit fighting dwarf. None of those words apply to me. You're well, a now dwarf. Now's the time to learn. Yes, uh, dwarves know valor, from what I've heard. Apparently. All right, think about this. Now he's, a, now he's a message to all the future thugs to try to get hired to take us on. I think those two that you scared with the Shatter will do that just fine. Those two? There's a few here. You'll be able to talk with our little scurvy mates. Yeah, four ran off in total. Don't take a job from those elfish cunts. Especially Actually, how are we going to deal with them? I suspect they're going to follow us till the end of time until we actually have to kill them. Or they're deterred enough. Or someone takes their interest afterwards. Elves can be a bit flighty that way. Uh, I doubt this will be the last time. Agreed. Those are two that I do think if we run into, we handle permanently, but... These ones, they're... Small time, and he stresses small. Fuck you two. Do you want me to skunk you again? Do that before we leave, actually. Skunk yourself. I don't know. This guy really just does not seem apologetic at all. I mean, it's not about being apologetic. It's but he could at least that... pretend. We can just—he knows we can totally kill him. Oh, you have to remember, he's too dumb for that. Also, see Orkish bloody wants to die in combat sort of thing. <laughs> I don't... Eh, eh. Everyone's a little bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, he's kind of angry. Getting punched in the dick makes orcs angry, I'd reckon. Yeah. All right, let's shove off. I'll I'll give him another dose of perfume. I'll give him both a perfume. Yeah, I've been humiliated enough. No such thing. He got knocked keeps... out without throwing a punch. That's mm -hmm. that's pretty ego bruising. If it makes Johnny happy and it stops Johnny from killing them, I won't even break his leg potentially. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that. I'll only skunk him if you don't break his leg. Now you're really putting me in a hard spot. You have to remember him having to go back into town all skunked up is going to be absolutely humiliating. But he can still break his leg after you skunked him. That's the thing. No, I don't want to be we'll near him. We'll have to keep skunked. walking. Yeah, there you go. See. So it's your I choice, know. Johnny. Break his I'll leg ask, or I skunk him. I'll ask Johnny. I'll pick up the hamster and look him in the eyes and say, "What do you think, Johnny?" Do you have something to eat around? Uh, I'll probably drop my pack near where everything is over here. Ah, he is going to scurry over you and try to eat something. He doesn't really care that much. Yeah, I'll give him a piece of fish as a reward. Ah, he eats it. All right, man. Johnny thinks we should eat him. We're not engaging in cannibalism. That is far beneath us. I mean, I'm a dwarf. He's in half work. I don't think that counts. Kelmorn, could you kindly drag Johnny away? All right. I grab the translucent Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally willing to go wherever, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's just... I think let's leave him tied up here for now. Someone else will find him. Yeah. Pantsless. <laughs> let's not forget to You're before you scoot up, before you skunk him. Let's make sure to get all the loot off these bodies and this other guy. Yeah. Yeah. The other guys have just mundane stuff. Some crossbows, some maces, short swords, short swords, I believe, scimitars. Yeah. Usual smaller weapons. Yeah, I think it's time we just ride off. Yep. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, you stinky fucks. <sighs> yep, as we ride off, I turn into a skunk, and I skunk him, and I run away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do have... Uh... The gloves and the belt now. Uh -huh. And I do assume you are going to identify those. Yep. I want to see what they do. Yeah. Well, for the gloves, I do have that actually written up yet. For the other one, uh, I think I. Yeah, I need to format that better. The gloves. You get the face breakers. <laughs> uh, ten charges. And when you hit a creature with unarmed strikes, you can add additional effects. <laughs> and they, they can save against that uh, by making a saving throw against um, your te uh, 8 plus strength modifier plus um, plus proficiency. Strength DC, basically. And yeah. You can discombobulate to basically a stunning fist. You can timber to knock them down. You can social distance. Fatality. Oh, wait. Why did I have that? You can tie oh, a social right. distance, or you can really social right. distance. Right, yeah, I do. <laughs> I fucked up somewhere there. Let me edit, correct that. That was... Yeah. 
I'll call it a heavy blow. But yeah, those are some of the options. And the other one is a belt of giant kin. I'll have the physical description here. A, it does give you 23 strength. Mm. You can speak giant. And you have the Athor Gate belt. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can also throw rocks. Uh, you're proficient with throwing rocks <laughs> as ranged weapons. And you get a minimum AC of 16, even if you're naked. I need to write that out in more than notes. But that's basically what it does. It's a lot to have on a small time fog. <laughs> yeah. Well, the gloves, I think well, nobody else uses unarmed fighting, right? So those I definitely probably want it. But yeah, that's the belt, good. honestly, I already have 20 strength. I don't need the belt. I, I believe I um, call dibs. Oh, well, yeah, but you know, I just want to make sure you don't. I, I want, I want you to know up. that I don't want it either. No, I'm just winding you up. I mean, the yeah. rest of it would be good. So you could have a ranged weapon. I mean, I always have my, uh, my circlet for range. It's pretty good. Once a day. <laughs> yeah, you could really, what, once, it's really good. But how are you for attunement shit? Uh, uh, yes, those are attunement. The I might only does. have room for the gloves anyway, actually. Because, uh, my magic items I have. I forgot that. The brass knuckles and the circlet. I believe those are both attunement. Yeah, you nope. go for it. Slide of them are. Oh, right. so you're on good then. Okay. The circlet of blasting is definitely not attunement, and the brass knuckles are also just regular plus one weapons. Yeah. So. They don't require a human. And yeah, the thing about the Belt of Giant Kin is it does have those uh, thick strips of leather um, along, its high, along it, and there seem to be space for actually four. But two are, but only two are used up at the moment. The one leather strip seems just like regu regular leather, kind of humanish color, and the other one is uh, stony gray. All right. I do think I'll be having those gloves for sure. Nobody else uses unarmed that much. But... Yeah, it's definitely you. But do we also give you the belt? Again, I, my strength is already at 20, so it's definitely, if someone else wants it, I don't need. Yeah, it would give you an additional plus one strength. Yeah. Which I would feel silly for, because uh, my last ASI, I did bump strength uh, to 20 anyway, so... Uh, this would be my third character go to 26 there. 22 strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I'm also... I, I am attuned to one thing already. The hat. I forgot the yeah, hat. Yeah, but you got free slots. Yeah, but I, having one open, in case something else pops up, is always nice. Well, you can always, you know, unattune to Switch. something when that comes yeah. out. Yep. Now we might find other stuff to swap it around. The belt doesn't have... See, here's the thing. Rena, the strength-increasing item doesn't have to stay on one party member at all times. I don't know why I said your name there. It's just it seemed to connect. I know. I mean, if somebody <laughs> wanted it in the other campaign, they could have it. But until somebody wants it, Shelly will wear it. She reacts in such a guilty way. It's strange, isn't it? I just no, didn't want because I, I just didn't want because I keep getting them. <laughs> Ocon already has eighteen strength. He doesn't do anything with the uh, with the gloves. Castalia has it, and Celasta Crisari has it. Yeah, well, to be fair, that's only recently. And we did it for a laugh, True. because everyone else had 18 strength already. <laughs> it's only a party of four, after all. True. All 
already. Oh, because it doesn't really fit anyone else, especially not Ilfren. No, he yeah, can't no have way. the rock and the belt. No way. No, Ilfren does not want the belt. <laughs> He's a dex fighter. Just doing a lot of careful wrapping of it with other cloth to completely hide the thing, because it's not very stylish. <laughs> Well, you know, some nice multi clad cloth, a few stripes, a few sta a few wiggles and lines. Perfect. That just looks like a very nice cummerbund. Yeah, I probably would have even put it on upside down. <laughs> That's a fascinating thing to claim. It's probably not wrong, though. And, I mean, it would be funny on Pog, but wouldn't really fit with his style of attack. And Grayson is Much also better. all about twirling. Always twirling. Ooh, and if I'm hasted, it's the breakfast. I mean, I do have a two in strength, but no, I got, got my three in dex. I'm good. That's a two on that damage dice. Ah, I got a three. There's a one. Fucking hell. One again. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, triple sevens. Clang, clang, questionable. clang. Very clang. Questionable, very questionable. And, and Kelmore and Spar, just clang, 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 clang. That's a three on your damage dice, though. I got three ones in a row. <laughs> I know, yeah. I, that, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Well, at least you flush three ones too. out. Eh, it doesn't matter too much. Ah, I can also get a seven. Okay, roll 20. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Uh, let's see. Cause what really? It's always funny. What yeah, have I okay. got here? Deep down inside, it's funny. Really deep down, like, so deep down, it's basically, like, deep in the abyss, you know? Right there, where you'd never find it, It's it's funny. Oh, hold on. I can get the clip. I think that's, yeah, two attunement slots used up for me, the Ring of Feverfall, and then this belt. I got a hat and gloves. Awful stylish for what I thought I would be wearing. <laughs> I was about to say, I assume the gloves, the charges reset at dawn. Uh, the gloves? Uh, what? What do you mean about those? Like, uh, the charges, I assume, reset after a long rest at dawn. Ah, uh, yes, they do. And it's not like a yes. reach zero and chance of breaking it, so I can just use all ten? No, yes, yes, you can. Uh, or... All right, I think I have fixed uh, things I have not added yet. Oh yeah, there is a reason why this guy has that, has those stuffs. Maybe you will find out at some point. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you get you leave those guys tied to the uh -huh, tied to the tree here, probably, and move on. I take it. After skunking. Yes. He's not gonna let you forget that. Yeah, it's very important. You're getting a bunch more crossing. The skunk oh, traps so... off. Also, in the meantime, I have found two maps I can use to 
show you those what I mean with um, the map area. Ustalov is on the world map at the top right by the world wound and if you look at the Ustalov map you can see Lapid Studs in the top left. Yep. So the realm of the Mammoth Lords is fairly close. It does have the Hold of Bells and the World Wound in between them. However, the World Wound is basically just demons and hell, because it is a rift to the demon worlds, For as anyone who has actually played the Wrath of the Righteous game. Yeah, not really a pleasant place. So, now that that is fixed and you have the maps to look at, if you wish. Uh, you are going to take a long rest, I assume. At some oh, yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with I that get to try out the new rest button, see if all my numbers come back hmm. correctly. Yeah. That's when Kalmon will attune to the belt, I take it. Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, the next morning comes around, and... Johnny? Kelmer has never looked sexier. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bards, yeah. man. Yeah. No, he has a rocky looking skin. He looks like a rock now. Oh my god. <laughs> Kelmer, something very good has happened. Yeah. No, no, it's not at all. This belt is yours now. Enjoy it. It's awesome. all yours. Get out of my mind, my spirit, my soul. I'm not doing this shit. Uh, how, how tall is uh, Calmore? Uh, let's see here. 5'11". Yeah. he. I've, I'm pretty sure he towers now all the rest of the party as well. Uh, he drops out immediately, just disconnects it from his mind. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> Don't go in for things that transmute. Yeah, what if you give it to Chef? But would you wear a, a belt of Dwarven Kai? Mm. <laughs> it gives you a beard. Yes. Possibly no. <laughs> well, there we go. It was fun while it lasted. It's all yours, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for science, I kind of want to see what happens if we give it to Jeff. Can Chef attune to items? I have Wrong. no idea. <laughs> also, you know, Pog, you could wear it, and you could, you could, you could actually kind of, you know, you could understand Jeff perhaps on a deep level if you also were made of stone. Oh yeah, Pog, if you wear it, your AC goes up. Uh, doesn't he have a higher AC than that? Let's see. No, he's, it says he has an AC of seventeen. Oh. Yeah, the Ring of Mage armor. Ah, yeah, okay. So yeah, Johnny, it's all yours. I will become rocks. <laughs> I didn't want it at first, but now I want the rock thing. <laughs> Frankly, I, I might ignore all the other, other things it does and just use rocks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Become the stone giant. That's what it basically does. I might as well do it. Well, if you do attune, you're probably taller than Ilfren now. I'm tall? Yes, it makes you bigger too. <laughs> All of my dreams have been fulfilled. I wonder what the other guy looks like if he got shorter. <laughs> uh... It would manifest after the next Probably. rest he takes. <laughs> like, yes. how tall are we talking about here? 
Is it tall enough for it to be noticeable to us or just to him? Just to be a little disconcerting that like everything's a little too small now. The AI speaks. <laughs> you really sound like an AI now. You didn't turn into rock. You turned into a robot. I think you need to roll back the patch. <laughs> Did you attune to some ram sticks on a belt or something in your life? <laughs> yeah, Neil, you, you turned on the robot filter there. I don't know if that was on purpose. <laughs> Try to talk again, Nil. Oh, how, wait. Can, how can I, your new mic be this shit? <laughs> it's going through like three different filters, and Discord likes to do its own shit. So I don't... <laughs> yeah, it's it's doing some stuff. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And it wasn't doing that before. That's the funny part. Just say welcome, programs. Reading Hello, programs. Yeah. Yeah, he's muted now. And Devin, yeah, he's trying to fix it. Uh, how tall is Johnny usually? Five feet, I better, like four, four feet or so, I think. Dwarf. Yeah, four, four ten. Four ten. Yeah, he's uh approaching six feet. Yes. Wow. So the half work <laughs> just shrinks down to a goblin. No, the half orc was really big, like uh, almost seven feet, something like that. So he's just regular orc size now. All right. I did mention he was bigger than Johnny remembered him when you first encountered him. Quite big. But yeah. So how tall yeah, is Johnny now? Almost six feet. Yeah, yeah like five, unhappy 10, with five this. elf, <laughs> five eleven, five ten, something like that. Ilfren just looks at Kendra. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Ah, you're fine the way you are. He Aww. says as he hacks you from behind. There we well, go. <laughs> thank you. Just um. No, I wasn't talking yeah. about that. Sweet as it is, I'm saying the dwarf's <laughs> creepy now that he's big. <laughs> I, I'm okay with my height. I, I think it's a quite lovely height. Just, man, he's gotten big. I throw rocks with such force. <laughs> this should make him grow yes, a beard. He has. <laughs> I guess if it keeps him happy. I will tear down the patriarchy. Wait, what? <laughs> this seems like a good thing to do with my newfound power. Okay. Whatever you say. Uh, Grayson just looks at Sybil, makes the crazies. <laughs> yeah, this sort of notion does not exist here in this <laughs> world. Here, here it's more like tear down the monarchy. I would never do that. I love the queen. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go too fast here. <laughs> but is it really a patriarchy if there's a queen? <laughs> That's a, 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 a... A queen can theory, theoretically lead the, the patriarchy if she ascribes to the patriarchy. It's weird, yes. But isn't the definition of it that... The men are holding their positions of power, but but if the no. ultimate position of power is held by a woman, it's, it's not more just that, position of the power. Yeah, it's more that the men are in charge now. If the woman is still backing up the position of the patriarchy, it's still a patriarchy. It's just that there's technically a woman in charge. Ah, women, that's can, a women can back the patriarchy. Yeah, let's not have that discussion here. We're having to try. We're trying to have a game. Uh, uh, but yeah, as the journey continues, then at some point Kendra will pull Ilfren on her lap and hold him there. Now that he is the 
second smallest of the group. <laughs> Yeah, he, he is definitely the small guy in the group. He is okay with this. <laughs> He's used to women being bigger than him as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we're heading out. Let's go, guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do a walking statue. Yeah. <laughs> I really understand you now, Jeff, you know? Now that I'm also a stone. I am not sure what you mean. Look at me. I'm super cool now. Way cooler than I was before. I can agree with that. However, you are not really a stone. Not like I am. What's inside that counts? Exactly. I'm can't you see? Sure feel the, can you see? Feel the are you two them. trying to bond with your mutual hardness? <laughs> Hmm. Johnny's just coming out of his shell, his carapace, if you will, <laughs> breaking through his mantle. He's becoming more bolder. <laughs> ah. I will be able to throw boulders as well. Yes. I remember, you, you keep a hold of his feeling. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> can you not? You know, it's funny you mention that I have a piece of granite right here. Grayson if you is, continue Grayson this is conversation, I'll have to assault the next person who does it. <laughs> All right, all right, let's just go on. Yeah, you do continue on your path. Uh, let me copy and paste your tokens real quick. I need them for... Uh, I, don't oh, I have a plus 10 to hit now. now. Excellent. <laughs> there I have them. Uh, uh, you continue further on the road, and you do reach the edge of the Shadowwood. And uh, do all give me uh, perception checks. I'm so tall now, I can see many it's a things. shame it's bright out, isn't it? I they mean, I still are, got a 17. They are hearing based, actually. Oh, th then I hear very oh, well. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I Never am mind. drowned. He gets that. <laughs> yeah. My height is not an advantage in hearing things, unfortunately. <laughs> well, it is. But you pick up on sound waves from further distances. It's why owls perch high. Although, this does raise one question. How will I punch people in the dick now? You'll knock them down first. Ah, smart thinking. You kicked them. Oh, there's an option now. He's never learned how. As a dwarf, he doesn't have the legs. Yeah, yeah as you do wander along, you do uh, hear uh, you are on a somewhat narrow path. Uh, here. There. You do hear the sounds of uh, someone running through the underbrush, roughly in your direction. Oh, dear. Which bush? Uh, it George. comes from up here. Wait, no, I'm probably at... somewhere up here. Okay, uh... So I want to can... be stealthy. So basically you all... I cast action. fireball. I throw a rock. <laughs> and to prepare an action. <laughs> so I'm I actually casting fireball. No. But it would be funny if I did. It's like, there's a rustle in that bush is just 20 feet. Just... <laughs> no more bushes! bushes Come out wherever you are! <laughs> But yeah, you basically get you prepare one action before they what whoever is in the bushes uh, comes into view. If they look hostile, I'm well, I don't know, it depends. I'll just take the dodge action, wait for it. 
Same. As much as Fireball would probably be overkill, I, I'll, I'll hold some magic missiles. Uh, All right. Some magic missiles, you said? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to need a fireball. Now watch, it's, it's going to be like, damn, I should have... Depending on what's coming through, yeah, if it seems hostile, I'm, I'm tempted to cast darkness. All right. I cast darkness. Darkness, darkness, darkness. Did you say no. darkness? Uh, uh, that was the wrong thing. That's darkness. So some actions are prepared. I'll prepare to throw a rock if my other friends decide to attack me is a good idea. And out of the underbrush comes uh, what appears, what is clearly a werewolf, female, and bleeding. Oh god, it's coming she right at us. Rough. Does this trigger any reactions? No, I'm holding. I'm holding to see what's chasing her. Yeah. Well, since no one actually attacks her, she freezes for a moment and keeps running off into a slightly different direction. Wait, I have fish! Away from you. Donnie, no. You can help. <laughs> Donnie, no, stop. Yeah, she doesn't <laughs> <laughs> Why does... I was thinking this. I was like, I bet it. Oh no! Please stop. <laughs> Simple, just straight faced. And yeah, and you can hear that there is more noise coming from where she came from. Yeah. Now, Wait, if I see something, now. it may provoke an action. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, in case there's another werewolf, I'm readying a moonbeam. Damn! I really, I really feel like I should have stick to my guns and prepared a fireball. Damn. <laughs> I need to stop wussing out. I mean, you don't buy a sports car and then not drive it, right? If I see what looks to be oh. a werewolf that wants to attack something, I'm casting Moonbeam. Yeah. Well, the wounded werewolf continues to run away. And uh, following after her are some more uh they look at like werewolves at the first glance, however, they are not quite as healthy looking. God damn it, there it is. Yeah, it would have been perfect. It's God everybody. fucking damn it. They <laughs> are rather undead. Some there parts it is. of their flesh ro uh, <laughs> rot rotting and falling off. And God, I'm such an idiot. Shambling. Well... You know what? After the wounded werewolf. It doesn't necessarily catch him by surprise, but you can fireball him. Or you can do what I'm about to do, and throw shit. No, no, they're getting a fireball. I take it that's... Yeah. Initiative, yeah. Yeah, that'll be initiative, but yeah, they're getting a fireball. That's too... And I'm in range to not actually have to disadvantage. Yay! And I assume since that was prepped action, that one just goes through. Uh, Edie yeah. boys. Kelmorn, you go tomorrow. <laughs> hey, so I will go first. Get wrecked. Yeah, I want to see if my rock one shots it. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. It's a crit. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, some of them do seem a bit damaged already, but none too critically. Well, the you one in the try. front's about to be critically dead as fuck. Uh, that was a really bad roll. Ah, uh, yeah, that does not. Uh, Flatten one of them. Uh, You're more sevens. Hmm. That is okay. And he he's feeling it, but doesn't seem too faced by the rock. Uh, 
Uh, what were the other prepared actions? Uh, not not happening because yeah, not werewolves. I mean, they're kind of werewolves. They're was uh, wolves. Yeah, they, they was wolves, not not werewolves. They only that's uh, werewolves, not they how were wolves. <laughs> I mean, you can still use the Moonbeam if you want to. Unless you want to use the spell slot for something else. Yeah, I want to use the spell for something else. Sure thing. Um, now, the question is, do you all want to do the combat next time? I'm not sure how far we in we are of the session, in the session. About stop the time, usually. We have half an hour left. But usual stopping time currently. Uh, yeah, how about we do that next time? Okay, uh, okay. it works. Fingers on the button. Yeah. I'm not entirely You're sure. You're going to deny long Grace and his blast. Yeah, I'm not his entirely sure blast. how long this will take here, so. It could be 10 minutes, it could be an hour or two. Depending you know, on rolls. If, yes, depending on rolls, this could go beyond the usual time, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there for next time so I don't forget. <laughs> what the hell, right. man? Still, not bad overall. Statistically average, kind of, yeah. Yeah.